So today I'm here with a special guest. Hello. This is my girlfriend Kelsey. You might have seen her in another fishing challenge that we did. I will link that card above. Today we are going to be doing an interesting challenge. We are over here at Dollar Tree where everything is a dollar. This is going to be a little different than my other fishing challenges because Dollar Tree does not exactly sell fishing lures or fishing supplies or like anything related to fishing. So we're going to go in there and actually see if we can find something that we can make a lure with. All right, this is going to be pretty interesting and if it works, it's going to be pretty awesome. So let's get in there. Let's see what we can find and uh, let's go. I have no clue we're gonna get in here, but I think we're gonna go to the candy aisle first. I'm guessing that there's gonna be some gummy worms or some type of worm imitation that we can maybe use. Make our way over that way. All right, so we found some worms here. Twin snakes, some warheads worms, berry berry worms. You think those are the right ones? Yep. All right, that might be the move. I don't know, I, let, let me check that out. I need the right action. I guess we're gonna go with the twin snakes as the first thing at the dollar store. I'm definitely trying to get some other things other than candy too. All right, Kelsey pointed out these Swedish fish right here. I'm not sure if these would work, but I think if I put it on like a 164 ounce jig head or 132 ounce jig head, like a gulp alive minnow maybe it would have some nice action i don't know look at those two we have now stumbled into like the dog food and cat food sections i'm wondering if any of these would lure in some nice fish sausages you think that that would i think these sausages in a blanket will work very good all right um Jeez, you're so loud. <laughs> all right so we're looking at this dog food here i'm not sure if we should go with these sausages or um I got some beef steak bones here it says on the package that these are proven to catch fish so uh those are the winners so we're gonna go with this what else do they have in this store here? Just an FYI for you guys, they do have bread and stuff here, but I feel like that'd be a little boring to actually catch fish on bread because, I mean, it's so easy to catch fish on bread. Yo, what if I caught a fish on this? Kelsey, I found what will catch me the 10 pounder today. There's some interesting uh, creature baits right here. There's gotta be something in this section. I mean, here's some crab stuff. Think I could catch something on these pipes? All right, there's gotta be something else around here somewhere. I mean, if I was a bass, what would I want from the dollar store? All right, so after walking around for a while, I came back to this toy section. I know I grabbed this snake earlier, but I'm honestly thinking about getting this little one. I mean, look at the color. I might have to cut it, but I mean, I don't know. This would be pretty cool to catch a fish on this little snake. What do you think? Let's do it. Cop. All right, so I think we got everything we need. Let me give you guys a little rundown here of what we got. First of all, we're coming in with the candy. We got the Swedish fish, and then we got the twin snakes, sausages. Guys, it's like super quiet in here, by the way. <laughs> You're embarrassing me. What do you mean I'm embarrassing you? All right, guys, so we're coming in with the sausages next, and then we've got the glow and grow. Um, <laughs> then we got the grow and glow snake. I mean, it says just add water and it grows, so I'm not exactly sure what's gonna happen if we put it in the water when we're fishing, but it'll be interesting to see if we can catch fish on any of this stuff. So let's get out of here. Let's get to the lake. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, shoot. Twin snakes. Thank you. So in total, we ended up getting four things, but I had to spend $5 at the store because somebody wanted this. All right, guys, so here we go. We are at the pod. I'm going to try this little grow and glow snake first. So let me get this guy out of the package right quick. All right, there we go. All right, I thought this thing was going to be more flimsy, but uh, it's kind of hard. So I'm going to try to... There we go. Huh. I'm thinking maybe if I give it a little Texas rig. I don't know about this thing, man. All right, well, this might be the worst Texas rigging job of all time, but I'm gonna toss this out there and see what it looks like. I do not really have too much faith in this snake right here. Like, at all. Come on, snake, don't let me down. Oh my god, I just had a bite. Oh my god, I have another bite. I don't know if that's a sunfish or a bass. All right, sick. All right, there we go, guys. Now that I know there are fish in here, staying at my girlfriend's house for a couple days, and I have no clue where to go fishing here. This guy choked this little paddle tail. So, guys, I am staying at my girlfriend's house, which is in the middle of rural Pennsylvania, so I have no clue where to fish here, but I found this pond on Google Maps, Now I was just throwing some baits around, seeing where the fish were, seeing if there were fish in here, and this little dink ate my paddle tail, so now that I know there are fish in here, I'm gonna continue with our little challenge, and I'm pretty excited, actually, so I'm gonna let this guy go back. And let's get the challenge started. By the way, this is the next day. Yesterday, Kelsey and I had plans that we could not find a good fishing spot, but today, Kelsey's at work. I'm out here fishing, and we're gonna get on some big fish here. I have a really good feeling about this pond. So since this jig and the little paddle tail work, I'm gonna bring out these Swedish fish here, and I'm going to try to rig one up on a jig. All right, guys, well, this is what we're working with. Pretty realistic, if you ask me. This is sure to catch me the 10-pounder. So there's definitely not a lot of natural action in this presentation here i'm literally going to be so happy if something hits this the other thing that i could do is put a float on here so it's kind of suspended and if you think about it when the fish hits it like it's going to taste pretty good so i'm sure they're not going to let go oh 
Yo, oh my god, what the? Dude, no freaking way. Yo, this, oh my god. Guys, did you see that? He literally just shot it off. Where the heck did that go? Literally on the freaking Swedish fish. Oh my god. I literally just caught a fish while jigging Swedish fish. This pond looks pretty good, so I'm guessing there's bigger fish in here. But dude, we just caught a fish on a freaking Swedish fish. What the heck? I'm literally so happy right now. Let's let this guy go. There he goes. That is freaking awesome. All right, well, that is one bait down, the Swedish fish jig. Now I can eat the rest of those. I don't know if it's something about these Pennsylvania ponds, but in Delaware, I'm like 99% sure that wouldn't have gotten a bite. All right, next up, I'm gonna try these twin snakes. But yeah, these things are interesting. Apparently, one side is sweet and one side is sour. I'm not exactly sure what bass would prefer. Since we have any bikes on this jig head, I'm going to pull apart. I'm gonna use a brighter color. All I'm gonna do is do a little one of these. That's not too bad. So there we go, guys. That is the finished product. Let's see if we can get some fish on it. I mean, to be honest, if we can get a bass to bite on Swedish fish, I have a pretty good feeling about this little worm here. I feel like it actually has a decent action. There's two problems really when it comes to fishing these gummies. The first one is that they don't really stay on the hook and once they get wet, they kind of uh, get all messed up. And the second thing is that they just get everything sticky. There's definitely a lot of weeds in this water. A lot of the times when I'm bringing this guy in, it's getting... Oh my God. Do I have a freaking fish on here? Guys. Oh my god, dude, that is a huge bluegill on the freaking gummy worm. Holy crap, let me pick this guy up and show you. That is a freaking slab. What is going on today? Is there something about these Pennsylvania ponds? This guy was caught on the Haribo Twin Snakes gummy candy with a little jig head. Oh my gosh, that is a giant bluegill to be honest. Definitely the biggest bluegill that I've caught this year so far. The dollar store is producing and so is this pond. All right, that is already two of our baits out of the way. I did not expect this to go so well. You guys know that I usually struggle in these fishing challenges, so let's let this guy go. This is honestly crazy. Just so you guys see again, that is literally what I caught this blue girl on, a freaking gummy worm. What's next? To be honest, this jig head is pulling through for us so much that I'm gonna try to bring out the snake and put it on this jig head. Yesterday, you guys saw me try to put the snake on a like Texas rig type thing, and that did not work at all, but this looks pretty decent. I mean, I'm not gonna be able to push it all the way up on the jig head, but I mean, that doesn't look too bad. Let's see if anything will take him. This is just an awesome day so far. Come on, snake, don't fail me now. The other interesting thing about this snake actually is that it says that in the water it grows. So I'm not exactly sure how long it takes in the water to grow. Like if I'm just casting and retrieving it, like, this i'm not exactly sure if it's going to expand like a lot or i don't really know i just saw some water movement over here this has got to be where the 10 pounder is dude come on bite my snake the fish are here though i just don't think they've seen my snake yet like once they see the snake it's game over all right weeds this is not the time oh i just had a bite oh my god you guys see that something's biting it Come on, just take it, take it, take it, take it. Come on, how could you pass up the snake? All right, well, I've been casting this thing for a little while, and the snake has not really grown, so I think we're good. How funny would that be if we caught a fish on this? Like, it's literally a freaking toy snake from a dollar store. That's not a fish. See, that right there is not something that I see at home. Just tractors nonchalantly driving up the street. Oh, no. I had a freaking bite right there. All right, guys, here's my thought. So currently I'm fishing this pond right here. And when you turn around, there's actually a tiny little creek right here. And I did see a couple minnows swimming in this creek. So I went to my car, got some of these water bottle minnow traps that I made in one of my last videos. And I'm going to try to fill these with the dog treats that we got and see if we can trap any live bait while at the same time I'm over at the pond over here trying to catch some fish on the snake. Let's give it a try. All right, so here we go, guys. We're opening up the sausages. Well, this is what they look like. Definitely interesting. All right, there we go, guys. I crushed up some of these sausages. I threw them in here. Now I'm just gonna fill them up with some water. Now I'm just gonna do my best to come over here and drop it in this creek. I see so many minnows in here. The only question is how should I get these traps down here because it is a pretty steep fall. All right, I'm gonna need to tie a longer string onto these because I'm not walking all the way down there. So I just dropped this trap right here in the pond. The other one is right behind me down here in the creek over there. Hopefully while we're fishing, we can trap some live bait. Oh, I had a bite right there. Well, all right, guys, I put a little float on this. Let's see if this works any better here. Just gonna have some suspended jigging and see if anything hits it. Oh, there's a bite. Ooh. So to be honest, I cannot tell if the fish are going for the bobber or for the snake. All right, guys. Well, sadly, it looks like it is not my day to catch a fish on this toy snake. I'm actually on a time crunch here today. Kelsey gets off work soon. So I'm going to bring out the sausages and see if we can get anything to bite on this. All right, so I'm switching rigs for this. I'm thinking that I'm just going to take a tiny chunk of this and put it on a hook like this and just give it a toss out. I have a little split shot. I'm having a really hard time keeping this on the hook. It definitely smells like dog food. In the meantime, while I figure out how to actually put these on the hook, let's check out my traps. They've actually been in the water for a decent amount of time. If I can remember exactly where I put them. Oh. All right, here's one. Let's see, we got any fish in here? Oh, heck yeah, we got fish in there. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna put this, I brought this little container to fill with water. All right, let me dump these guys in here. Well, guys, that is so cool. Not sure if you can see that, but we have little minnows in here swimming around. We're definitely gonna use those as bait. Now let's go over here and check our second one. All right, let me pull this guy up here. This isn't looking too hot. So we got skunk on the second water bottle, but that is okay because we have some bait minnows in here. 
and we're gonna try to catch some fish on them. That is awesome. All right, can you guys see that? It looks like we have about five minnows in here. The water bottle trap came through. All right, there you guys go. Just right through the mouth like that. Let's get some fish. Oh my gosh, there we go, guys. I need to fix this drag, but it's all good. What do we have here? On the minnow. Oh, I really need to fix this drag. Oh, what the heck? Yo, we got another giant sunfish, but it looks like I freaked... Oh, yep, no, I didn't foul hook him. Dude, this is a big slab sunfish yet again. Jeez, guys, do you see the size of this sunfish? I could literally lip it. Like, this thing is huge. That is so awesome. So we got this guy on the minnow that we trapped in the water bottle trap, and we trapped him with the dog food. So technically, we did catch this guy on the dog food. Just a comparison, that is my hand. This thing is pretty big. So let's let this guy go. Let's go cast out some more of these minnows. All right, guys, there we go. Right through the lip. So that they're still living. Let's see what else is out there. Let me also tighten my drag too. I don't know how my drag always gets so loose. Oh, is that a fish already? Oh my gosh, right away. What do we have here? What is this? Yo, what the heck? Dude, this place is loaded with giant bluegill. Holy crap. What in the heck, man? This guy crushed the minnow literally right away. Let me tell you, the size of the sunfish in this pond right here is ridiculous. Like these are all nice eater sizes. Let's let that guy go and let's put another minnow on. Oh. Oh, did he take it? I think he took it. Yep, that guy stole our minnow. I wonder if there's anything down in this creek that I could catch. Oh, there we go. What do we have here? What the heck is this little guy? Out of the little creek. All right, what is this? This is definitely another species for the day. Um, Definitely looks to me like this is some kind of shiner. If any of you guys do know what this is, please comment down below. I'm pretty sure it's some kind of shiner or something, but that's pretty cool. I caught it out of this little creek. Oh, on the minnow that I trapped. So let's throw him back. That is so sick, honestly. I'm having so much fun out here today. This is our last minnow right here. It's going in. Oh, I pulled it out of his mouth. No, he took my minnow. Dang, man. Since this dog food was sitting in the water, does it stay on the hook any better if I smash it down? Looks like it might, actually. Kind of looks like power bait. All right, let's toss this guy in and see. Oh my God, that scared me. I literally just jumped. My foot was caught on the line that was on my bottle trap. And as I walked, it sounded like something jumped behind me. Oh my gosh. Wait, guys, I got a fish. What the heck, what the heck? Oh, it's another big sunfish. Oh, this might be the biggest one of the day. Wow, what the heck kind of pond did I stumble across here? Guys, when you can lip a bluegill like this, that is impressive. These guys are really, really big. That is a legit catch on the dog food. Let's let this guy go. All right, there he goes, darts off. Well guys, I think that just about does it for today. It is time to leave here. I think we had an awesome day at this pond. I'm definitely coming back here. Kelsey just got off work, so we're gonna do some fun stuff. We're gonna relax, we're gonna hang out. I did not think we were gonna do this good, making lures out of stuff that we got from the dollar store. But that just goes to show you, man, you do not need expensive gear and expensive lures to catch fish. All right, well, we might not have been able to catch any fish on the toy snake, but we did get on a bunch of fish today. I am just so happy about how this challenge turned out. I did not expect that these $1 items we're actually gonna land us some fish today. And can I just point out really quick the size of those freaking bluegill? I'm not sure if the wider angle of the GoPro really did them justice, but these things, man, these were some giant bluegill. And it's not just like I pulled out one, this whole place was loaded with huge bluegill. That was honestly pretty crazy. Overall, this challenge was actually really fun. So let me know if you guys like this. Let me know if you wanna see challenges similar to this. And I have to say this like I always do, man. Thank you guys so much for all the support. It's just so crazy and it is just so awesome how many of you guys actually support me. I'm absolutely loving this whole YouTube thing. I get to go out, do what I love, and I get to share it with all of you guys. At the time of this video being uploaded, I have over 25,000 subscribers. That is ridiculous. You guys are just so supportive. Our family is growing. Now let's keep this rolling. You guys know I'm doing my best. I'm trying to hustle. I'm trying to make the best content that I possibly can for you guys. And I just appreciate every single one of you out there supporting. So let's keep this rolling, guys. I gotta go. Thank you all for watching. I will see you next video.